Hey all, hope you're well. Thought it would be worth uh, doing a review of my year totals. Kind of a New Year's tradition for the sort of Microsoft YouTuber uh, community. And uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna go by site and I'm gonna give you my total. And then I'll just tell you, uh, I'm not gonna go through my earlier years, but I'm just gonna tell you how much more or less, as the case may be, I earned than the previous year on that same site. So I'm just gonna jump right into it with Adobe stock. Um, on Adobe stock in 2022, I had 2,247 sales, including both uh, photography and videography. Uh, that was an earning of, or RPD of 90 cents per image. And I increased my totals from the year before uh, by $205.77. So uh, I went up a little bit with Adobe uh, over the course of 2022, which is great. Shutterstock now, um, I had 3,129 total sales on Shutterstock. That earned me $1,833.60, including both uh, video and uh, photography, and then that little bit for the uh, AI training. Uh, but in total, compared to 2021, that was actually a drop of $1,111.69. So, I had a huge drop on Shutterstock over the course of 2020 year. That actually surprised me a bit. Um, I thought it was about the same. I didn't really think that much had changed, but a massive <laughs> plus $1,000 drop over the course of the year. Um, again, surprising. iStock Getty, uh, I had 1,430 sales over the course of the year. That earned me $796.30. And my RPD there was 56 cents. And that includes both video and uh, photography. I had a net change at iStock of $82.44. So it went up $82 from the previous year. Uh, not really a material change. Um, being at only $700 range, uh, close to 800, but in that range I think is disappointing. Uh, I think my iStock portfolio generally doesn't sell as well as my other ones or sort of the other big three. So let's jump to Dreams Time. Um, I had 770 sales on Dreams Time in 2022. That earned me $401.69 for an RPD of 52 cents. And I was up plus $130 over 2021. So I'd actually uploaded quite a bit of stuff on Dreams Time. Uh, last year and that uh, translated into 130 extra dollars um, probably um, probably could be doing better in dreams time but it's one of the some more marginal sites um, that don't typically bring in much in the way of value but um, the extra 400 over the year doesn't doesn't hurt for sure okay so let's just jump to Alamy now I had about 62 sales on Alamy, or actually 62 sales, not about. Uh, that earned me a gross of $703.83. And the net on that was $280. Um, I only increased on Alamy by $10 in 2022, uh, despite kind of doubling the amount of sales that I had. I had a lot of uh, low, really low value sales, you know, those five, six, seven cent sales. And then a few that were partner distribution sales where you, you get two commissions taken off. So um, those kind of hurt. So Alamy was kind of a disappointing year for me, I think. Uh, let's just go to Pond5. I had 17 sales on Pond5. Five were images, so 12 video sales. My total earnings for the year were $281.16. And I've felt like that was low. I felt like I was getting more traction, getting more sales, but when I ended up the whole year, I hadn't actually got that much. So, but I did increase over 2021 by $124.77. So um, I started selling more towards the end of the year. So hopefully this year, when I get a full year, um, hopefully uh, I'll have a, quite a bit of uh, extra sales to account for when I do this video next year. Going to deposit photos now, I had um, $222.03 of total sales for the year. So uh, I actually dropped over, sort of year over year. So I dropped by a dollar four cents from 2021. So almost exactly the same amount, uh, right in that 220 range. 
uh, but dropping in 2022, despite uploading uh, a few thousand more images. So um, deposit continues to be a sort of a declining asset and uh, something that, you know, if you're a new contributor, you'd probably be um, likely to avoid, I think. Uh, Archangel I'll talk about. Um, I had one sale in 2022, but that was a $600 sale. Uh, I had a sale last year on Archangel as well in 2021, and that was a $400 sale. So I uh, had an increase of $205 uh, specifically. Uh, but two years, two years on Archangel, I've earned $1,000. So that's not too bad. Um, and um, most of the stuff doesn't get accepted there that I upload. So it doesn't really conflict with MicroStock. It's uh, actually fairly complimentary. Uh, you could focus on Archangel and do a lot of other shooting and um, still do a lot of stock related, MicroStock related sites because I think they really are complimentary. So um, that's my new view on Archangel anyway. But let's keep going. I wanna keep this video fairly short. So um, let's say Wirestock is the next site. I had $62.73 over the course of 2022. So only $62 on Wirestock. That was an increase of $58.23 from 2021, but I only started the last little bit of 2021 and I didn't really have any sales that year, um, just some referral earnings. So um, Wirestock, this was kind of my first year and I don't really have a great portfolio there or a big portfolio. So not expecting to earn much on Wirestock based on um, the fact that I'm not really um, getting into that site at all. Big Stock is the next site that I'm going to talk about. I had earnings of $97.05 over the course of 2022, and that was an increase of $36.42 from the year before. I actually started uploading more on Big Stock, uh, where previously I hadn't uploaded several years. So I just thought it was worth uh, just, you know, um, keep continuing to upload on some of these more marginal sites is, I think, um, was pointed out to me recently as being valuable. So that's kind of what I'm doing. 123RF, another marginal site. I had $76.03 earnings over the course of the year. That was a change of negative uh, $10.30 from the previous year. So my overall earnings uh, dropped in 2022 and they have dropped since 2017 actually. So they're heading on a steep hill <laughs> towards, you know, a, a deep valley so um, 123 RF again it's another it's another marginal site that you really want to have to do if you're gonna upload there let's jump to can stock now my earnings over the course of 2022 were thirty nine dollars so uh, can stocks not a very good site they don't allow editorial uh, images which is the bulk of my portfolio and um, there's just low sales but that $39 was an increase of $10.92 over my previous year of 2021. So went up a little bit, but it's still, it's just not material to the overall year. Now to the print on demand sites, I have photo for me. I had one sale that earned me uh, $21.06. It actually dropped $2 from the previous year, uh, but I think that's just a currency loss because the site is a UK site, and um, I think I think it was 24. U I think the earnings or the profit on the sales was 24 uh, pounds, um, but those 24 pounds were worth less to me as a Canadian in 2022. And that's always something that you have to think about wherever you live. Uh, <laughs> there's a currency uh, fluctuations uh, that you have to think about or it affects your earning. And sometimes if you're a low currency, low value currency jurisdiction, uh, Microsoft can be a, a lot more valuable. So that's always something that you need to keep in mind uh, depending on what part of the world that you live in. Anyway, the last site that I'm gonna talk about is Fine Art America. I had my first two sales on Fine Art America and I earned $3 from those two sales. One was a cup and one was a puzzle and uh, one of the comments on my um, videos from from those uh, previous earnings videos was that what I'm doing wrong there is uh, setting my base profit way too low 
and that those need to come up and that's really the way to handle Fine Art America. So I thought I would share with you that point because that is a valuable point that I was, I am doing it wrong. I'm actually not doing Fine Art America anymore. So 2023, I'm off Fine Art America. Uh, it's just not working for me and I'm not spending the money to subscribe there. Anyway, so my grand total for 2022 is $6,126.50. And that was a drop of $859.64 from what I did in 2021. So 2022 was a surprise for me in that I had a decline in revenue overall. So um, it shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, given, <laughs> given the market and where things are at. But I sort of felt like I had a little bit of up uptick on video. I had more... Um, stuff uploaded and you know i had a good sale on archangel that was six hundred dollars so just felt like maybe i would have done better than i did in 2021 but i didn't i dropped i'm still at the six thousand to seven thousand range um which is kind of my like floor goal i i want to be at least six thousand hoping to be above that uh, and we'll see what happens uh, over the course of next year. Hope you got something out of this. Hope you did well in 2022, and I hope you do super well in 2023. I really do. I think it's great when people are, um, you know, earning um, rewards for the hard work that they put in, and uh, I think that's great. So take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.